Yorkasaw, welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. I'm Dairaku, and thank you for stopping by. In the last episode, we started our exploration of Blackroot Burrows and Naru's backstory. It was hard going at first, with everything plunged into darkness. We managed to find a lamp, and with it, we made our way up to a place where we could clear the darkness. For our efforts, we got the dash ability. We then went deeper into the burrows, dashing as we went. And then we had to escape from a rolling boulder. We were awarded with the final life cell, and then Sign taught us we need to go even deeper. So we continue our journeys here through Blackroot Burrows, and we're going to go to that area that Sign pointed out to us, which is just off to the left here. So first of all, let's get rid of you and just glide down safely, make sure I'm not going to destroy myself. Ah, that's where that boulder went through. So I'm actually partially annoyed because I realize that I totally could have come here with only just the wall jump to do most of this. I could have had this dash for ages and ages. I could have survived Kuro's hunt a lot more easily. But anyway, here is the way forward. The Lost Grove. So a whole new area. Cool. And of course that zoom in is only because I'm holding on to the triggers while I'm on the wall looking at the map. Oh hello, that's an interesting thing in the background there. And that is sure death. Okay. Before I even think about going down there, I'm going to make a soul link right here. Okay, so I'll just glide down. Alright, I think to get through this, I'm going to have to jump and glide into place. Or I'll just use the dash. Because I don't know how far this goes to the left. Um, not too far. Okay. Now. I will grab that, because I can, and there we go. Okay. No, there's nothing up to the right there. It's just phosphorescent mushrooms. Okay, you are dead, and you are also about to be dead. Hopefully I didn't need the bash for you. But with that done, we're going to save... And grab the next ability, which is Water Breath. Okay, no more uh, needing to breathe underwater, though. I don't know much where that's going to be applicable, but we'll see. So, Soul Inconficiency is the next one and two ability points, and I am looking forward to that, believe you me. So. We now I'll just have to work our way through and not jump immediately into the deadly lasers. Okay, I need to be quicker. Alright. Like that. Cool. Let's save here. And now we're in that big open area. Alright, I want to see if I can make it up to the top right first. But I get the feeling I'm going to have to go around to the left. Oh, no harm in seeing. Ooh, this is an interesting place. Oh! How I did not get stabbed on those thorns, I do not know. Okay, I am going to have to go around to the left after all. Oh, I've got one of you. I hope I didn't need you just then. Oh. You look like a whole heap of fun. Okay, let's go. Is there anything up? Well, there is a um, launch pad there. So I am going to have to jump up at the exact precise moment. This is going to be fun. I'm actually quite scared now.
Okay. I then need to jump across. Alright. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Cool. Let's just save now. Now, we're going to need that bird to get across. I know it. Alright, this is going to hurt. But sometimes, it's all we can do. Oh, I didn't even see the wooden barrier there, so all of that was for nothing. That was annoying. Alright. You're now dead to me. Yep, I saw you hiding up there. Ah. Okay. That lantern up there serves a purpose. Alright. Now, why are you lurking up there? What are you hiding? Nothing, you're just there to be annoying. Hey, that's uh, another Naru statue. Ooh, cutscene. More spirits. Okay. So those were the other spirits. Okay, maybe Naru's mother didn't like the spirits. Oh dear. There's something up there. And it's just empty. Yeah, that's all that's up there. All right. So we have this whole area here, and the very sunset glow, it's... This whole Lost Grove area is very pretty. But we've got to go down, and going down... ...will lead us... ...to our final ability. And this will be the thing that I have been waiting for for many episodes. Oh, I am looking forward to this. So by process of elimination, this is what's going to let me light the lanterns and get all of those abilities and pickups that I have not been able to get before. The light burst. Press or hold LB. Okay. Let's try it out on this. Okay. So... Oh, they just reformed. Okay, so now I know that it does cost energy. That is exactly what I've wanted to see, and I've just used the wrong thing. It's L... left shoulder button, not left trigger. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Come on. 
So many things have now just become open to me once again. Okay. Alright, there's got to be a better way to get that in. Can I jump and throw? No, I have to stay still. Alright. There we are. I just got the achievement Explosive Lob. Alright, well first of all, I was going to save here. Grab that yummy energy. And carry on our way. Oh, I didn't even notice the lasers had stopped. Alright. Well, I saw another lantern up here. Ow. Okay. So... We do that. And that door opens. Oh... Another ability cell. And another Naru statue. Oh, actually, no, that might be Naru's mother. Then what's up here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Cool. But that's that whole area explored. Everything from here is just pickups. But I do see that there's a spirit well at the end, so at least we've got a good reason for going down here. Okay. Let's do it. Oh! And not land in those thorns. That was a very good save I just did then, I thought. Now, is that laser still... It is, too. Alright. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, no! Good. Okay, I'm just going to save... Ah, uh, well, I'll do it there. Okay. Oh! Get away from one set of thorns and land in another. Okay. Now, this was designed for the charge jump. As is this. Let's get this solar efficiency happening, shall we? Excellent. Now, three ability points for the triple jump. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay. I've got a habit of still looking at ceilings and things like that when I don't need to. Alright, anyway, I'm going to glide down here. Because I definitely don't want to fall. Not without seeing what's at the bottom and giving myself half a second to react. Okay, so it was actually not too bad. Oh, didn't see those little drops hidden behind the mushrooms there. Okay, so that opens when I destroy something. Or kill something. But that's the way forward. This is a side path. So I've got to get through this now. Okay. Ow. Alright, and we wait and go. What's up here? Some more energy. Good. Now. What? Okay. It's bash on light bursts to reach even greater heights.
Well, I'm not exactly quite sure how I'm meant to do that. Because if I throw them, I'm throwing them away. Alright. Oh! Maybe something like that. Okay. Well, let's grab that. Though I should have done that first, but at least it's only taking half a energy cell now. Alright. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. None of that from either of you. Thank you. Okay. So now I got this one down here. Alright. I think I need to throw this up and over. Alright. From about here, maybe. Here? Okay. Ah, there we are. Ha <laughs> ha! That was clever. Alright. Yes, another ability cell. Oh, I should have done that and then got rid of the energy. But that's okay. Alright, so what lies further and further down here? Well, everything else is going to be off to the right, but we're going to have to make it through the next area first. Oh, we've got one of you. And apparently I'm now a Stomp Master according to my achievements. Okay. Alright, so at a certain point... Alright. Okay. Excellent. Now, does that stay open permanently? Oh, this was a pressure switch. Okay. Cool. And that's there to help me get back. Good, I could do with that. I could also do with a save. Okay, two platforms ahead. And I think we have to destroy everything. Including those creatures up there. Oh, I see, it's... Oh my... Oh! Okay. Right. So when I throw, I move. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. I was paying more attention up than down. Okay, so we've got the next thing open. Alright, well before I move on, I'll just do a quick save, and away we go. What lies down here? Well... We must be approaching... Wow, the music's changed and it's become a lot more... ...wondrous and peaceful. That's interesting. Okay. I guess we go left first? Well, I wouldn't mind making it up the top there. Oh, this is very pretty. 
The music's also very nice. Okay, there isn't anything up there after all. Oh, we use that switch to get back. Okay. And there's water down here. And somewhere to open that. Okay. And no water meter. Or air meter, I should say. Finally, we're free. Oh, okay. This I wasn't expecting. This is an entirely hidden area. Just as well I've got the water breathing then. I'd be panicking otherwise. Ah, this is how we get this ability cell. And with that, let's get the triple jump. There's three left, apparently, and that's what gets us that. So, triple jump. One, two, three. That's actually very useful. Alright, we just have to make our way back now. So. Okay. Oh no, we do have them back. Come on. Oh. We are given little pockets of air. Excellent. So I wouldn't have noticed that if I didn't have the sensibility. So I'm glad I picked that up first. Alright. This area is beautiful. If the floor is just a little bit weird. Well, I guess what you're supposed to do is throw the light burst up. Anyway, I see a bashing lance in there. Um, yeah, like that. Alright. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Somehow, we have to make it through there while the pressure plate is down. Maybe... No, it's this one, you fool. Okay, that gets destroyed by that. I want to lob it down. Or maybe, maybe. Okay, it has no weight. Ah, the way forward, I think, is like that. Excellent! That was cool. I do love the creative mechanics in this game, and even the abilities themselves have been rather creative. Because the abilities have just been, um... Well, I mean, first of all, you have the issue of of the wall, so you get the wall jump. But then, that gets improved to a climb. And then the climb gets paired with a charge jump, and you're able to leap out of walls and those sorts of things. Alright, well there's that ability cell now. That spirit container there. Now I just have to make it up through here. Or... We just do that. And again. Alright, that's going to be a very useful tool. Alright. Okay, so that's opened that gate there. Aha. Yes, I thought it was that. Okay. So...
so, oh, you again? I'm tired of you. Thank you. Alright, so with that open, we can finally make it to Nara's home. That looks like this is her home. This is where she grew up. That is definitely a hearth. Oh. Well, Nara's mum loved her. Oh, that was their... That was their hearth. Oh, Nara's the sculptor. And we're watching Nara grow. And then... Just as Nara did. Her mother passed. Or oh, his. Indeed, as long as someone's name is spoken, they are remembered and they live on. I've just got an achievement called The Cycle. There's the spirit container. Apparently 98% of Blackroot Burrows is complete. I don't know what the other 2% is. Maybe... Maybe there might just be... A little pocket of... Exploration I haven't done, which is probably this here. There we go. That's 100%. So there might be in the Moon Grotto then, just a tiny, tiny, tiny corner I haven't been to. Oh, nope. It's now 100% as well. But this is a beautiful place. And from what I understand, the whole of Blackroot Burrows was an addition put in as part of the, um... Part of the definitive edition. So... I mean, I could have had the dash so much sooner, I think. And... Everything that's sort of come about is... Just sort of really... Really sort of shown a lot more of, um of the background and more of the story of the forest. But there's one place we have to go now. And it's Mount Horu. But before we go, there's now so much as a result of getting the light orb that I'm now able to get. That spirit container. That energy cell. Those ability cells that spirit container there. That ability cell, that energy cell, that ability cell. There's a tiny little fragment of sorrow pass I didn't walk in. I think that'll probably enable everything in the Valley of the Wind. But all of that up there, that's all Mount Horu. And there's all of these areas that I've yet to travel to. So, so much is going to be available to me in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for information as to when my videos come out immediately. 
Or you could just hit the notification bell. That'll be even better. Also, what you can do is you can follow me on Twitter. I post my updates there regularly and occasionally have little sneak previews. You can also follow me on Twitch where I stream once a week, usually on the weekends. And come and hang out with our community on the Discord. So thank you very much for watching everybody again. And until I see you, Otsukare-sama.